Hi, welcome back to our Dental Spotlight. I'm Dr. Sharma for Provident Dentistry. Hi, I'm Renee. I'm a hygienist at Provident Dentistry at Canton Park, and today I will be acting as the patient. Yeah. Well, today we're going to talk about oral cancer. Well, did you know it's one of the largest cause of cancers in the U.S.? And often it goes undetected. It's in awkward places in your mouth that you can't see in the mirror. Uh, where, do they, where does it usually show up? Well, they start in the mouth. So if you're talking, you could be talking about the lips, the cheek, the tongue, the floor of the mouth, the roof of the mouth, and the places where around your teeth, behind your teeth, which you can't see most of the time. Doesn't it also spread to the oral pharynx area? Absolutely. That way you're talking about behind the tongue, the tonsillar area, uh, the back of the roof of the mouth. So yes, definitely in those areas too. And what are some of the causes and risk factors for oral Well, there are quite a few. There are plenty of them. They're like a constant trauma to the mouth. Like if you bite your cheek all the time, ill-fitting dentures or partials. If you do, uh, chew or you smoke tobacco, then uh, alcohol consumption. They're all some of the causes. HPV is one big one that's going on right now, and in some cases, genetics. Okay. It also is due to a weakened uh, immune system. Okay. What are some of the signs of oral cancer? Well, the most common is like an ulcer. An ulcer? I have an ulcer. Well, right no. <laughs> well, no, that one is a canker sore. Okay. Uh, a a non-healing ulcer, which has been there for a very long time, and instead of getting smaller and smaller and painless, it just is completely painless and it keeps growing. Okay. Then it's like a sore that bleeds a lot. Then there could also be a lump or a growth in the mouth. Or if you suddenly see your denture doesn't fit right or your teeth are starting to shift, you have painful jaw stiffness, painful chewing. Okay. Those are some of the signs and symptoms. So what are some of the screenings that we can do in office? Okay, well the basic thing is that an oral cancer screening is very important once a year. But here in our office, we do it every six months when you come. But uh, getting an oral cancer screening with a Velscope uh, once a year is just perfect because this detects, uh, it goes penetrates through the tissues and it can see better that we can see with our naked eyes. So I would ab absolutely recommend patients to get Velscope done once a year. Let's show them how we can do some screening since you're my patient today. Okay. I will show them. 